you ask people, do you expect your children to be less or more addicted than you, they have a hard time with that question. One reason for that is, of course, the recognition of a broader swath of addictions makes us fear so many more things. Video games, uh, DSM, as I said, is recognized gambling as addictive. Many people were pressing that video games recognized as addictive because there's some people who spend their entire waking life embedded in video games. If you ride on the subway, people are sitting there playing uh, these fast games, you know, whatever. I don't even, I don't know them. That's not an addiction. I, I feel stick to the substance addictions. God made substances. It's my job to use them. And they have these crazy bird games, and I don't even know what all, word games. People spend endless hours in front of them. Of course, that only supplants and uh, expands television and video addictions. So, oh, and that's one whole new area of addiction that kids can, are exposed to from virtually child, birth. And other total areas, the spread of pharmaceuticals. Uh, there was a recent article in the New York Times about a kid who became addicted to uh, Adderall in response to ADD or ADHD, and he killed himself. We're constantly generating new pharma psychoactive pharmaceuticals with addictive powers, and we give them to kids. We give them at younger and younger ages. We won't let them drink, but you know, by the time they're 18, 50 percent of American children will have had a psychoactive prescription. Then there's the question of relationships. If relationships and sex can be addictive, are our kids better or worse prepared for that than before? Considering that they spend so much time in front of video games, they have less experience dealing with other people. Which is why when I go back to those groups and I say, do you think addiction is going to increase or decrease? They think it's going to increase because we not only have more readily available artificial forms of stimulation of a tremendous wide range, but we have kids who are in many ways less well prepared to deal with life au natural, without assistance, uh, independently, feeling full confidence in their ability to deal with their environments. On the one hand, their environments have gotten more complex. On the other hand, they're less likely to have direct experience with their environment. They don't go outside and play. <coughs> they don't manage their own time. Uh, their parents would be arrested if they let them take a bus downtown at an age when the parents themselves readily took public transportation. And so we have a, a group of people less prepared but more likely to be exposed to a wider range of addictogenic involvements. We're going to have more addiction. The quick answer to how would we prevent that is to generate a broad understanding of addiction to have children recognize that many things can be addictive, but to give them the strength and independence and self-reliance to be able to cope adequately with any potential addiction, many of which pharmaceuticals, alcohol, love and sex relationships, they're unquestionably going to face probably at quite an early age.